I've loved her. I absolutely loved her. I did the, the, my first Inspire Aspire Awards were two years ago, and then I couldn't do 2012 because slightly busy in the build-up to the Olympic Games um, and it's so nice to come back it is it's just such a great evening because the genuinely the quality of of the work that the kids do is stunning absolutely stunning the engagement level uh, you know you speak to them and the stories they get inspired by uh, they really do they really do get the Olympic values and and how how can it help them in their lives and it's lovely to see them now you know they, they celebrate tonight they get their medals parents are here their certificates and they really get acknowledged as doing something special. So it's really special to be part of that. There's masses. I mean, I've been really lucky because I've always been part of, of the British team and we've travelled across the world and been part of massive, massive international competitions that are you know, absolutely global entities. And you realise that sport, sport has this incredible way to link people together it really bonds people and and it kind of somehow it doesn't matter about different language issues or or boundaries or cultures everyone can get united in the same way and it's about it's about inspiration and it's about these incredible sort of values that exist in every country and what will be really interesting will be to see to see different countries' perspectives on it, you know, to see what inspires them in different ways or who inspires them. And we might get this whole new sort of wave of role models coming into the same programme, and that's really exciting. And it's, it is, it's lovely to, it's, as competitive a sport can be, it really has this power to, to bring people together who wouldn't have otherwise. So that's lovely to see that happening on all ages.